What is up, guys? Welcome back to GWT Goons. Here's another episode for you. After what happened, Dutch just went crazy, and now we probably even do something more crazier. So we are going to uh, attack the army, I believe. I'm not too sure. Um, something like that. We we'll see. We we'll see what's going on, but I don't think screw. Obviously, so we team up with the What's going on? Indian guy. Cordite and integrity. It is a beautiful thing. What are y'all doing? An eye for an eye. We didn't start this, Arthur. They did. We? This ain't our fight. It surely is. Whatever it is you're planning, it ain't a good idea. They want you to fight. Nobody will be killed. We're just gonna trap a few that's, of them in the that's valley. That's a good lie. Disarm them, tar and feather them, and remind them to leave these boys alone. You have energy for Frank? Come on, Arthur. Just tweaking Uncle Sam's nose a little. I need you to help me. I, I just... It's perfect. People will see these boys. They won't notice us, and they'll think we're gone. Everyone will blame everything on the Indian problem and we'll disappear up the river. But first we need to trap them in this pass. Help me dynamite up these trees. So, you're using them? No, sir. No. Never. But it is mutually beneficial to draw attention to one problem and avail over another. These are good people. But their situation is real complex. We ain't helping. Sure we are. Come on, let's Not get enough. this done. We don't have a lot of time. The patrol will be coming in a few minutes. Okay. Hurry, Archie. I'll plant the dynamite. You run the wire. Well, keep look out. Come up here. Oh, I really don't think. I sent for some of that dynamite. You and Bill commandeered in Van Horn. Good work with that, by the way. Bill played drunk. The perfect man for the job. It's, it's just now I feel like it's start getting worse and worse. Like you know, that just using the so, American Indian. Finally got to see Colm Hank. Yeah. After all those years, hard to believe. Oh, but it was worth the wait. See? The face. It's still funny. It's like the the, the, the way that he's looking. So, like, oh my God, good. Actually, I'm going to die. <laughs> Here they come. Stay low and quiet. You sure you don't want me to man that plunger, Arthur? No, I got it. Oh, remove the weight of the world from your shoulders for a minute. Like I said, we're just going to give them a bit of a scare. Hmm. There they are. Looks like more than we thought. 
It's fine. We're only here to talk and administer a little good old-fashioned humiliation. You're owed that, son, at the very least. Wait for my lead, men. Everyone, mm -hmm. just stay calm. I'm We've ready. got the upper hand here. I just need to push the button. Okay, Maybe. they've passed the first charge. If we blow it now, we should have them trapped. Put your hands up! You're surrounded! Nobody need get hurt! Your humiliation of us has gone on quite enough. This ain't a good idea! Put down your guns! You are making a mistake, boy! No! You're making a mistake! Put your hands up, soldier! Take a little humiliation and leave these fine folks alone. Who are you? Mm -hmm. A concerned citizen. Is that so? What now? We should move. No, 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 not quite yet. Soldier, you and your friends gonna tuck tail and run off? Run! Excuse me? I'm getting bored of this. Your friends fired first, soldier! Mm -hmm. My father won't be happy about this. They fired first, son. You started this. There's another patrol in the rear. Look like you got a fight, man, boy. It's time you pay for what you've got. Look out! They're coming up! Follow them! Watch your hands! This is where you die! I'll kill you all! Hold your ground! Come on, Dutch. Now we'll see how you like it! Come on! Why does everyone have to stand in my way? And bullies, watch your goddamn mouth. All of you, take what you can, and then we move out. Move now. We have to move now. That's a lot of people. Search these men quickly, then we move. This is crazy. Why aren't we getting out of here? They might have information on them that'll help our friends. We need anything my father can use to strengthen our case. I ain't sure much is gonna strengthen your case after this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Find anything? Yes. Some poor fool from New Jersey. These boys ain't the problem. They're only kids. Keep looking. Ooh, what the hell? Shit! Everyone, keep your hands down. We're gonna get out of this. Ow. Why is there someone next to home? What do we do here, Dutch? This is a lot of men! Just hold your ground! Try to flank them, Arthur! We'll shoot you some space! Yes! We need to take out that head! Uh, Up the hill! Oh, 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 oh. Take out the spotter, Arthur! I know. What was that? What do you want me to do with that? Where's Peter? Well, they're sending riders from the fort we need to leave. But where's Peter? Was he killed? He's alive. Well, that went just about according to plan. I'm trying. I'm trying, Arthur, with everything I have, and I will keep trying, and you'll keep doubting me, and we'll keep failing. It ain't like that, Dutch. Look at me. Look at me! I'm just... I'm worried about folk. 
I know. I should know. Where's he? Oh. Run, son! Run! Come on! This area is going to be crawling with soldiers in a few minutes. We got to leave now. What about Eagle Flies? We got to go, Arthur. Come on. Okay. We need to ride hard. Stay with me. This is how. How is, how is going to be end? How is ending like this? Uh, Left. I thought you said turn left. Okay, let's dismount here. We won't get the horses down this path. All right, let's carry on by foot. Try and sell them a little. I'm going to have a shotgun. You think it's all I got? Get out of here! Gah! You can do the sound. Let's see if we can lose them down here. Alright, let's go. Let's go more people. We're fighting the army now. Amazing. It's just amazing. Huh? I don't mean to kill the horse. They are gonna get hit now. You could it. Let's keep going. Follow the path. It's gotta spit us out somewhere. And I lost my hat. Thanks a lot, Dutch. something come on Thanks a lot, Dutch. Good to know you. I said put your damn hands up! Okay! Okay! Follow my lead. I got a plan. Oh, you got a plan, huh? A oh, you got a good Hello! One. Officers! You keep them hands up and come here. Put your hands up! Hello, Captain. Keep your hands up and come here. Come here. We, uh, we can't do that. Your man, those men they killed, they were good men. You're fighting nature, Captain. Get over here. Ask my friend, 
here. My whole life, I tried to fight and change. It's a waste. I see that now. It's a waste. You can't fight nature, Captain. You can't fight change. You can't fight gravity. Um, I... Oh. That's, I feel like that's the Dutch favourite move. That's his favourite move. Flies must have been taken. Taken or killed. Well, we can't go find out. No, not now. Charles, I'll, we'll send him. Where is he? <coughs> He's probably back in camp. Let's split up. I'll go tell him. You rest up. Keep a lookout. We are gonna make it, brother. Mm, right, I sure. Can feel it. We just literally hey, Arthur, escaped from the faith. whole army. What's that for going to say this time? Sometimes it reminds me of like uh, The Last of Us It's like doing so great. <laughs> Put in 45 seconds. Look at the map again now. Uh, we are all the way up here now. Um, still got a, few, a small mission but obviously now we're still going back to camp and see what's going on. Okay, I will see you guys in a second. said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell northern pike. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well, is that our bait then? A jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. <laughs> the optimism of you. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that, Laura? Gave you. Get her out. 
spent years working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. Tried coins, shell cases, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. Now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so satisfying. Getting him with something shop bought. Easy for you to say. <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. Ah, I got something all right. <laughs> uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on, Hal, Tyrant, I got you. I got you. Come on. <laughs> ah, went all slack. Went all slack. Come back. Oh, it's a drop back. Uh, Amos! Amos! Stay there. I'm throwing out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. Hey. Come on up here. Lost anything? It's just my rod. We got my toes too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. We'll come at him from the other way. Row over there. When he bumped me, I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pie? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cash back to where we were, and make sure to use that lure I gave you. A bit faster now. Ah, I think I hooked him. Real. Let's land the bastard. Reel it in. Don't let him pull you. Get in now. Come on. Come on. 
you now, tyrant! We got you now! me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. <laughs> oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Ain't he something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may.
puts his water with the blood I eat it. Home. Return to attack the sun. Did what had to be done. I know you did. I'm not saying anything. Okay. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh. Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. But I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on, place is quiet. Get out of here. Go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I'm sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I've made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? We got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Ah, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got I've it. I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiation. Well, let's go.
Good morning. Good morning. This way. I also have some men leading me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. That shouldn't have gotten involved. Now Eagle flies us under arrest. It certainly won't help our case today. I will find a way to help him. I promise you. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement. This way. Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. <clears throat> the Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I, I'm confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep on breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman, really. I do. But there are limits. So, let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? Your gentleman with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Reigns. That's, uh, Reigns' fault. Exactly. Chief Reigns... It's quite a cough. Sheila, wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. 
No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. But removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason. And hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. You know what they say about him. High tail Favors. The man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Not well, still, he's kind of stuck up. Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <clears throat> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi, right, Captain Monroe. Let's get out of here. Aye, if aye. I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but shall we get away with this? Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. You son of a bitch! Think about what you're doing! I'll kill you! Let's go! Open fire on the This way! Scale, you see? 
do we do now? You get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? We'll do what we can. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here. Start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, or avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet me at the reservation. Hmm? Morgan! <clears throat> Are you okay? Well, never better. What are you doing here? Well, I'm on my way down to Mexico. They're finally sending me on a mission. Uh. Brother Dorkins is very jealous. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong? Come on. Uh. I'm dying, sister. Okay. Yeah, I got TB. I got it. Beating a man to death <clears throat> for a few bucks. I've lived a bad life, sister. We've all lived bad lives, Mr. Morgan. We all sin. But I know you. <laughs> you don't know me. Forgive me, but that's the problem. You don't know you. What do you mean? I don't know, but whenever we happen to meet, you're always helping people and smiling. I had a son. He passed away. I had a girl who loved me. I threw that away. My mama died when I was a kid. And my daddy... Well, I watched him die. I weren't soon enough. My husband died a long time ago. Life is full of pain. But there is also love and beauty. Uh, what am I gonna do now? Be grateful that for the first time, you see your life clearly. <laughs> sure. Perhaps you could help somebody. Help him makes you really happy. <sighs> I still don't believe in nothing. <laughs> Often, neither do I. <laughs> but then, I meet someone like you, and everything makes sense. <laughs> You're too smart for me, sister. <laughs> I guess I... I'm afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of, Mr. Morgan. Take a gamble that love exists, and do a loving act. All aboard! I shall try. I know you will. Goodbye, goodbye, Mr. Morgan. Goodbye! Sister. So thank you very much guys for watching another episode of us, hope you enjoyed it, it was very touching at the, the last bit, just what just happened, mm. let's hope that finally on the next one we'll get some good news, or at least not bad news, alright, take it easy guys, have a good one, bye.